Hi and welcome, I'm Andreas. My father has wanted a CD rack for a while now and I chose that for my first project with solid wood instead of sheet goods because I've just set up my new jointer and planer so that I can actually mill wood down from the raw state into a workable state. So I got some really nice oak and I'm really looking forward to building this project. Come on in and let's get going. So now I've planed all the wood down to the final dimension and I ran into a problem. I wanted to use this live edge here, but um, after milling it, it showed that the wood seems to have got wet at some point. And at the live edge, there is, at the live edge, there is about two and a half centimeters of wood that has a distinctly different color. And it always almost looks a bit damaged. It doesn't feel soft or anything, but it doesn't look that nice. So I should have checked that before because now I've already cut it to width and I can't make it any smaller because um, otherwise the CDs won't fit in. Now I have to find a solution to that. I'm thinking about cutting it short so that maybe not as much of it is visible. It's not as bad on this one, but still visible. So I have to come up with a solution for that. Okay, I looked a little bit more into this and also sanded the live edge a bit to see if I could get it nice and smooth. And it turns out that this edge is just too damaged. This wood seems to have got seriously wet at some point and I can't get this to a really nice finish. So I decided to get rid of the live edge and make a straight cut. That way I also lose some of the um, damaged area here. Not all of it unfortunately, but most of it. And there is also some warm holes here from a woodworm. And I even got one live one here, which is quite shocking. Um, not because I'm afraid of the worm, but I didn't expect a live worm to be in that kind of quality wood. Anyway, so change of plan, no live edge, and that way hopefully I can now go on.
pieces are cut. The next step is now to um, cut the biscuits to join these together and round over this piece and cut some curve on these pieces because since I had to get rid of the live edge they look a bit boring and I thought a nice curve might amend that a little bit. So um, off to work. Everything is rounded over and sanded for the first time. Now I'm going to make a dry fit and while it is together in the dry clamps I'm going to prepare the footboard which needs a couple of holes yet and then it's time for glue up and setting it up. Thank you. 
I've sanded everything the second time with 240 grit. Everything's ready for glue up now and the first stage of the glue up will be to glue these little cleats to the end of these shelves here so that the CDs won't slip off at the, at the back. So I'm just going to leave them a little bit longer and just glue them on here and then I'm going to sand them flush once the glue has dried. And once this has dried, I'm going to glue up the large part. Now, the project is finished. I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out, especially since it was the first time that I used solid lumber and milled it down on the jointer and planer myself. Um, uh, there were some bad surprises and some big learning experiences, which I'm going to talk about in the What I Learned video, which is just linked to me next to me here, or maybe here. Um, so if you're interested in what I learned on this project, then make sure to, sh to watch that short video. Apart from that, I'm going to give this away for Christmas, which I'm also pleased about because giving is always nice. However, when you watch this, Christmas will be over. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the project and the video. And if you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up or a comment. Share the video, video with your friends. And if you want to watch inspiring videos in the future, if you want to learn along with me, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any videos. I usually post one uh, every couple of weeks on a Sunday morning European time. The subscribe button is just here next to me, down here in the corner somewhere. And I hope to see you back soon. Take care and bye bye.